Howdy folks, how are you all doing? My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to download, install, and set up the Feed the Beast launcher on Windows so that you can start playing the brand new Stoneblock 3 mod pack. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it using the actual FTB launcher, although, eh, here be spiders, I actually recommend using a different program called PolyMC, and I have a whole separate video about that that I will link in the description, because the FTB launcher installs something that I like to call Digital Cancer, it's, it's Overwolf, and I'll talk more about it later on, but... For right now, I'll show you how to do it this way, and there's nothing wrong doing it this way. This is actually the official way to install the pack, so if you want to do it, I guess, in quotes, the right way, this would be it. Uh, follow the link in the description to the Feed the Beast website, and the link will actually take you to this tab by default. This is the FTB app tab, and if we scroll down here, you'll see that it says that it is built on the Overwolf platform on Windows only. So this is only really a concern if you're on Windows. If you're on macOS or Linux, you don't have to worry about Overwolf. And in fact, I have installation tutorials for both of those operating systems as well. So you can click here and download Linux, Windows, uh, Mac OS. I'll have links in the description for all of those systems if you need those. But for Windows, we're just going to click the giant green button here that says download for Windows. And it should not take very long. It's a pretty small file. So what you're going to want to do from there is launch it. Now you can either launch it here directly in your browser or you can locate it hopefully in your downloads folder. And most browsers will allow you to click a little icon next to the download to take you to that folder. So I'm going to tidy things up here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to move the installer to the desktop. This is not necessary, but for the sake of the video, probably make things a little bit easier. So you're going to have FTB app installer with the Overwolf icon. Double click on that and it will prompt you to type in your administrative password. So from here, you want to select your language and then click next. It'll ask you whether or not you want to have a desktop shortcut for the app. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I don't want one for Overwolf. I don't even want Overwolf on my computer, but we're kind of stuck with it. So we have read and accepted Overwolf's terms and privacy policy. Make sure you read both of those thoroughly. Then we're going to click next. And look at this. We're going to get all sorts of fun Overwolf things like in-game overlays we don't want and live match data we don't want and... Whatever high performance means, oh look, it's 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 trusted by leading creators like whoever these people are and whatever these things are. Fantastic. So exciting to have this this garbage on my computer. I just wanted to play Minecraft, but sure. I'm a little I'm a little embittered about this. Again, PolyMC. You can use that. Link in the description. Just install the mod pack. And have none of this extra garbage. With PolyMC, you can install mod packs from all kinds of places. You can have Technic and FTB uh, packs side by side. But there we go. Uh, FTB app and Overwolf has been successfully installed. So we're going to go ahead and click launch. And it will launch, hopefully. I'm actually being a little bit facetious. I kind of expected that not to work. What you need to do is go to Windows. Scroll down till you get to the Overwolf folder. And then from there, you can launch the FTB app and it'll actually open. And it's got some more things it needs to do before it'll launch. But once it's ready, you should be presented with... Ooh, look at that. Big, lovely. Nice. We've got our latest updates. Good to see. We're going to go ahead and close that. So once everything populates in here, we'll have the home section. And as you can see, it actually located a pack that I had from a previous FTB install that I guess didn't get deleted when I deleted program. That's great. Love to see that in my uninstallers, not actually uninstalling things. Uh, next up, we have library where all of your instances will be located. Then you have browse where you can find and install new instances. And so in this case, we're going to want to get the FTB Stoneblock 3 pack, but we're not going to skip to that just yet. You also have discover news settings. You've got some lovely ads down here. So not only does it install the cancer that is Overwolf, but you also have to look at ads now. Isn't it fantastic? So before we get started, before we go any further, before we download any mod packs, we're going to go down here to sign into your Microsoft account and click on that and get signed in. So you can still use Mojang accounts for a little while, but you really need to go ahead and get your accounts migrated to the big multi-billion dollar mega corporation that's definitely not surveying, storing, and selling all of your data, Microsoft, which is how I'm going to sign in. So that'll take us to another web page where we need to again confirm that we want to sign into a Microsoft account by hitting the giant Microsoft button. From here, you'll want to put in your email address and password, and if you have 2FA activated, you'll need to do that as well. Basically, you're just signing into Microsoft here. So once you are finished signing in, you'll get the OK to close the browser. 
it says here that you're all set so we can click finish and look at that i am all signed in now so the next thing we can do is go over here to browse where well i already am and we can go to stone block 3 and click the big green button over here to install now you have some options here. You can select older versions, but by default, the latest stable release will be selected. You can go to show unstable versions and select one of those if you want to live life on the edge. But for today, we're going to stick with the stable release and click install. Now, this is going to take a while depending on your internet speed. So sit back, relax, maybe watch some Howdy Folks videos and come back when it's finished. And once it's finished, you'll be presented with this giant green button to go to instance. And for future reference, that is under the library tab. As previously discussed, you can go to library, click here, and you will be in your Stoneblock 3 instance. Now, you could just click play, or you can go over here to settings and make some adjustments. For instance, you have your memory slider down here. Now, it might be tempting to go all the way with it, but for system stability... You really don't want to do that. By default, this pack is set to 6 gigabytes, which is probably where you're going to want to leave it. If you have fewer than 6 gigabytes of system memory, I don't know what to tell you. You might have some trouble with this mod pack, but as always, my recommendations are to never go more than half of what your system has. So if you have 8 gigs of memory, set it to 4. You could probably go to 6 and be okay. If you have 16 gigabytes of memory, go ahead and bump it up to 8. Beyond 8 gigabytes, unless you're loading in a really big, heavy resource pack, those tend to like memory a lot. Beyond 8 gigabytes, though, you're not going to see a whole lot of benefit unless, again, you do have a very resource intensive uh, resource pack installed. So I'm going to leave mine at 8. Ah, you know what? We'll take it up to 10. Why not? Uh, we're feeling wild and crazy today. But uh, it should automatically save your changes, as you can see over here. From there, we're just going to go back to instance and click on play, and it will begin to launch. Now, I was just about to mention this. That's perfect. It might prompt you with a security alert for java we're just going to have it set to uh, private networks will be okay if you're playing this on a laptop and you might have it out and about you might want to change it to public networks but this is on a desktop so i'm just going to click allow access and type in my password and something else i was going to mention now that that's cleared up is that this requires a newer version of java you can have multiple versions installed on your computer in my experience java 17 works the best it's the most widely compatible with many different mod packs including this one and i think you're going to have a better overall experience if you go with that but you could also try with say java 18 or 19 if you are so inclined and there we go we've got stoneblock 3 launched so we can click f11 to go full screen and i imagine that it's going to be absolutely massive so we're going to want to go into our settings and uh, change the video size because this is just a little bit silly. GUI scale auto has never been particularly reliable for me, but I feel like four is probably going to be better. And there you go. You're good to go. You're ready to play Stoneblock 3. Congratulations. If you had any trouble, comment down below. Hopefully myself or someone else watching will be able to help you. And if you're interested in seeing how you could do this using something different, like the PolyMC launcher that does not have Overwolf and allows you to play mod packs from all over the place, AT launcher packs, Technic launcher packs, uh, Feed the Beast packs, Curse Forge, all in one place, I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Until next time, thank you folks for watching, God bless you, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!